decided to go live and I will be speaking in English for my English speaking friends. I do apologize for any noise you may hear, but it is out of my hands. Hopefully today, my friend Shirin, who is a director and CEO of a Kids Bright House Soft Play and also she's a director and owner of Plan Burrito Restaurant that is located in Ramsgate. Hopefully she'd be able to uh, join us today. I can see that uh, Instagram is telling in all my followers that I am uh, live and hopefully I'd be able to join uh, Shireen now I can see you're going to accept it uh, there should be a little pop-up on your screen if not then you might have to uh oh yeah yay hello we got you in <laughs> You look so glamorous, that's not fair. <laughs> no, but you are working with the children and the customers, and I'm actually... Yeah, yeah no, no children, you're responsible for your own children. Fantastic. <laughs> Shireen, I'm so pleased that you suggested randomly to have this uh, live chat, which is brilliant, because I am so nervous. First time speaking uh, in English on the camera, but I know we're going to do really well. Do you know what? I, I can't see you. Can you see me? No, I can't see you. Ah, see yourself though i can see myself well why don't you just enjoy looking at yourself <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> yeah. we, okay just just to explain to our followers i know some of them will be watching um uh live and somebody maybe will be watching later on on youtube i just wanted to say how we've known each other how randomly we used to work yeah. in the same company didn't we we did you was my well, kind of boss. You were my boss's boss. You were my boss's boss. <laughs> they all used to be like, oh my God, she's coming. I was like, and? <laughs> I was like, she's really nice. <laughs> and this, this is how we hit it on, didn't we? I remember yeah. we smiling, chatting away. We exchanged the numbers. And here we are, years later. Yeah, that's it, that's it. We are now live from your fantastic um plan burrito restaurant is that correct yeah that is Yay! correct yeah well why don't we got people in yeah let these parents go then i'll show you because some people don't like being on it but i will show you the shop from the outside first so this is plan burrito in ramsgate high street mm -hmm. it's a mexican yeah, and it's a franchise which I have taken on. So this is Ramsgate High Street, as you guys can see. <laughs> I will turn the camera on, but my camera's oh, broken. So there we go. That's it. Plan Burrito. The there yeah. we go. Plan wow. Burrito. That's it. That's, That's our shop. There lovely. we go. It's right in yeah. the center of the town, isn't it? It is right in the center of town there. So right. this, the beach is literally five minute walk down the road. Right. And then we've got all the shops here. And then we've got obviously spec savers next to us and opposite is savers. So everyone knows where we are. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah That's, fantastic. Uh, can you see you all right? I can. I can oh. see very well. Oh, you just, I think you just turned off your camera. Oh, let's come on, let's come on. Okay. <laughs> Please come uh, back inside and you could just I am. Bye ladies, see ya. Bye bye, take care. <laughs> some yeah, so that's the shop now. There we go. Lovely. That's the shop. So that's our menu. It is. And it's so delicious because I've been there with my friends, with my partner Jason. We absolutely yeah. He said we should okay. surprise it again and come on. Yes, over. you you should come, yeah. So that's Eve. Hi. She's our lovely team. We Abuse her fully because she's 16. Right. Oh my god, she's really young. <laughs> she's lovely. Eve, are you 16 or 17? Don't tell 16, me. yeah. But she's very, very good. Very good. Oh, lovely. So, what does yeah. she have to do? Because she mean, my daughter is turning 16, and I was hoping she's going to get some job. So, what is she allowed to do at the restaurant? Please tell me. Everything. Everything. She can like prepare burritos. Obviously, she can. Um, uh, look after customers, obviously customer service. You can use the tails, like we're restocking all our lovely haritos, our drinks, uh, everything. When we have newbies, I have a rule that we do not get them to wash up because everyone needs, knows how to wash up. I don't think it's fair. Everyone washes up. So they come in here to serve customers and yeah. this is our main job. Okay. So I know a lot of places who take new people on, stick them in the back kitchen. For me, that's like, no. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. So yeah, so that's our play area. Quickly show you yes, why there's not a lot of people please. in here, because some parents mind it. Yeah, maybe 
don't show the children but you could show a little bit yeah so of there we go that's like. the soft play so that's my friend made all those murals oh wow that painting all my... as well yeah we can you can take pictures on there uh -huh. so, so there we go that's you could have that's you know, like hashtag sign for uh, when you're taking photos you could actually have um, you know like behind your head basically like oh just above it yeah so people could share on their social media and stuff yeah that would be good that would be really good yeah. so yeah we we've been having kids from liberty college as well so they're basically they're not children with special needs but oh. they could be children who are from a difficult background and didn't fit in school yeah so uh, obviously we're quite friendly my background is with special needs and worked in a special needs school my staff as well cut and I have someone else who works for the NHS, but he loves to work here, oh, so he works part time. Uh -huh. So we've taken those children on, and they come once a week, and they love it. It's just treating uh -huh. someone nice, isn't it, and giving them that opportunity. That's right. Um, so that's been it's been good. Like I'm just exploring all these things to do with the um, the teens, basically. Not even just teens, anyone. Yeah. So how old uh, are the children that uh, could come to the uh, soft play? So play so it's from babies to nine to ten year olds depending oh, wow. on how big they are or how tall they are or things like that because some children are really big ten year olds so and some don't want to go in but the lead, the age that I would like is from yeah. babies to ten year olds oh brilliant so um, do you walk in through the restaurant because I'm not sure how to get yeah to yeah people. yeah literally you come in the restaurant that's the door then and, and they just you literally you walk in it's four pound per child for two hours oh, yeah. uh, yeah, four pound per child for two hours. We don't uh, charge. Uh, well, sorry, we don't charge the adults uh -huh. at all. <clears throat> we um, it's for two hours. Obviously, we don't do sessions because I'm the most <laughs> unorganized parent on this planet, so I don't expect people to be organized. <laughs> so I was like, just come <laughs> whenever. <laughs> I said, uh, whenever you come, uh, whenever you come to. Uh, the play area we just literally clock you in from the time you come so that'll mm -hmm. be two hours again we're not strict like you know people buy food eat enjoy and then it's i think two hours kids get fed up anyway after they had a good play so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good it is a good entertainment i remember in the evenings when we came in because we're adults our kids are older you were doing some entertainment for adults like karaoke night karaoke like night this. yeah that was fun was. yeah we need to start that Which again we should, we should, you know what, uh, what's on your agenda, what is the plan, have you got like new recipes going on or? Um... Uh, we've started at quesadillas, so the quesadillas are lovely. Quesadilla is, um, I'll have to tag you in a picture so you can see. Yeah. So basically it's like, it, it's beef or chi beef in a wrap and it's really thin. So it's like a flatbread pizza, but I mean, it's not even a pizza really. So we, it's a quesadilla basically. So you put it, we put it in the wrap and then we toast it with jalapeno southwest sauce oh, nice. and cheese on top and it is beautiful, beautiful. so if you want to have something light uh the quesadillas are the things to go so you have oh, that with your nachos and your salsa or dip nice yeah. and it's funny because the, your portions are humongous aren't they yeah i mean yeah, so that's what i'm saying if you don't fancy a burrito even a small burrito um fills you up really well and it's quite nice it's light it's healthy there's no fried foods in here except for the churros mm -hmm. <laughs> so um yeah, the, the quesadillas are like, the if you're a not a big eater, the quesadillas are perfect. And they're just, just right to eat. They're really nice. Especially people going to the gym and looking after their protein intake and things like that. Uh, it's uh, really good for them. Nice and healthy option. That's brilliant. Yeah. So why, how did you come up with this idea to open up the restaurant? I know it's a franchise, but I mean, what is your background? I know that you love cooking, but yeah, I love cooking. as far as I know. Mm -hmm. And your origin um, is from Pakistan, yeah. isn't it? So they're and my father up. is Pakistani, my mom is English. Oh. Her, uh, okay. Yeah, so my mom is English from Manchester. Uh, I'm from Pakistan, Islamabad. I've been, um, I was born here, but I was brought up out there. Mm -hmm. And I went to school there, I went to university there. Uh -huh. Then I came to England and just one uh -huh. second. You're right, Liz, your mom paid already. <laughs> that is so cute. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is asking, Mama? This is what we like to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so then, what did you uh, study back home? I'm just curious because how I did, did you so sociology and journalism. Oh wow! I did social in my in my in my college. I did biology, physics, and uh, chemistry. Wow. 
um, but I kept failing maths, so I couldn't get into university for for uh, for uh, doctors or for a nursing degree. <laughs> so yeah, and but I always wanted to do now. something. Yeah, I, I I always wanted to do something with the care sector, which I've done. I guess in England there's better opportunities, but I actually did my my college, and that was in biology, chemistry, and physics. So I I really enjoyed it. Uh, but then when I got, I just knew that it was um, too hard, and I think the education system in Pakistan is not as good university-wise, is not good, as good as England. So I went for sociology and journalism. Enough. Very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. So, yeah. Yeah. Did, yeah. so after you started, did you straight away come to England? or? Yeah, uh, unfortunately I got married. Ah. <laughs> Every experience is an experience, isn't it? You've got children, yeah. children you know? So, um, unfortunately, stupidly, I got married, which was a good idea back then. I was only 21, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, you never know what life's going to turn on, the devil you live with. Till, uh, you, you see. Can you see me, Tatiana? Because I, I can, can see myself you. half. I can see you very well. You can lift oh, up okay. the camera it's a bit higher, just a teeny weeny bit, so I can see your beautiful eyes as it, well. Yeah, yeah, that's better. That's lovely. I'll try. I'll just do it like that. I'm going to be asking you a post. <laughs> yeah, so unfortunately I got married and then as soon as I got married, within a year, my darling ex wanted to come to the UK. And uh, yeah, that's when all the fun and drama started. Um, and I got a job in a Montessori school here, oh. which I really, really enjoyed. Oh. I really I enjoyed that. One of those Montessori because it's a fantastic uh, education, isn't it, for the kids? Yeah, you know and this... And you know what, that lady, who her name was Jo Clark, and I feel like you have these certain people who shape you in life. Uh -huh. um, and I had an amazing friend called Camilla, she's on now, ah, I can see her there, parenting coach. <laughs> We, 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 were great, we were great toilet buddies, both of us. We always used to run to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to kill me. I was just about to tell all my secrets in case she's still working there. Yeah, I'm, I'm the best person to tell a secret because I don't remember. Yeah, that's, that's the same with me, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. so uh, I had uh, Mary Rosa. She was an uh, Italian. And um, yeah, so Camilla was from Denmark. Uh, Joe Clark was our boss. And you know what? She was an amazing woman. I have two people who inspired me in my life, obviously, beside my parents. But in education wise, I had a teacher in Pakistan called Naila, Madam Naila. She was amazing. If she didn't come to school, our morning wouldn't start. Oh, really? So, and then we had Joe Clark, who I feel like uh, when I came to England, she really guided me to be the person I am and just her personality, you know, oh. she was amazing. Um, so I was there for seven years. Um, then uh, it was proper Montessori as well. She, she was independent. She was Ofsted. Um, high for like all whatever time she had the nursery open she's retired now uh i saw her husband last year i think and i think they're i don't know what they're doing now i think they're doing a club or something for people who are retired and things like that um yeah then i had my son adam which i absolutely love he's the like adam of my apple of my eye he's really <laughs> annoying now he's, th he's gonna be 13 in march oh so he's a bit annoying now but he's actually a good boy <laughs> He's the turning into a teen. It's lovely he loves me so much. Sorry? Sorry, keep, keep saying that. Uh -huh. I said he, he loves me like literally everything I think I am or done or kept me strong is him. It's always been me and him. And uh, I, yeah, he's he's a good boy. He's really good. He's and um, he's so good. Love, bless him. I'm so proud of him. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you know what kids are like? They drive you insane. <clears throat> And some days I, 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 <laughs> some days I <laughs> want to strangle him. <laughs> We're taking them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Today, sorry, social services. <laughs> if anyone's listening, <laughs> I'm taking him to the cinema tonight. We're gonna watch Bob Marley. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we're gonna. He loves th he loves theater. Me, my really good friend Shelley. She's she's one of my dearest friends. Uh, she has a bubble tea corner around the shop, around opposite Chatham School. I'll get you in touch. She'd love to do a podcast with you. She would love it. She's so nice. Yeah, she's got a bubble tea shop as well. Um, 
But yeah, yeah. So basically, then I had my job in England in the Montessori school, and then I um, had Adam. So I went on maternity. I didn't go back to the nursery. Yep. Um, and then I went to Bradstow School for two years. It's right. a school for severely autistic and special needs children. Okay. Uh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. But the split shifts, um, because of the split shifts, and Adam was only what yeah. nine months. I, I couldn't do it because the shift started from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. and then 3 p.m. to 11, so I never saw him. But it was a great experience. Um, then obviously I joined the great courts and patents and um, drove how everybody. Have worked, Pardon? How long have you worked for patents? Let me ask. Uh, I started in patents in 2015, all the way right. till 2018. Fair enough, fair enough. No, 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 no. 2000. Yeah, 2015 to 2019. Okay, okay, so, so yeah. I like for a year, I would say, because this was the time when I got back to the company, funny enough. Yeah, no, yeah, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I got training there as well as uh, uh, obviously first it was a counter, yeah. medicine counter, then I went for the dispenser. But uh, yeah, I, I made sure I drove everyone nuts. Like, I'm so proud <laughs> that I drove everyone bonkers. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> I love I love public. I love the public. I love you know. It, it reminds me of home because Pakistan's such a social country. Um, yeah, so this kind of keeps me uh, keeps me happy. Yeah, and plant burrito I absolutely love. It's nice. tough. So you had you just you worked in the pharmacy, and then you are like bam. Shall I just open up and? Okay, I've always fine. wanted to do this. Okay. I've always wanted to do a children's play center just because I absolutely love children. I love them to pieces. And um, I always wanted to do a play center. Yeah, since I'm 21, I was like, I'm going to do this. And just life held me back. And I was always held back or discouraged. And I was like, no, I can do it. So I believed in myself, just the people I was with in my life, unfortunately, then didn't kind of um, not believe believe in me just probably they want to spend the money basically or take the risk in the business you have to yeah. take a risk so mm -hmm. they didn't want to put the risk of putting loads of I think financial side of things to it yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah and I think just in general women these days my father and my mom brought me up as a very strong independent woman and oh, obviously good. respectful as well mm -hmm. but yeah so uh, yeah it's uh, I think we should probably talk about that another day <laughs> You know what? That's I, another topic. So that's another topic about um, marriages and relationships. That's a very interesting topic. But I actually read uh, your thoughts on this in the way you said, make the most of what you have and keep the standards high. Never say yeah. anything less than you deserve or are capable. Why should we? We worked really hard. You know, why should we? Why should you settle for anything less? That's right. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And I'm never wrong. Let me just you are proving everybody you. wrong because you do really <laughs> well i am so proud to count myself as a friend thank you, know, you. i'm disappointed thank that i'm not gonna see you tonight i want you to pop over <laughs> and and you know <laughs> yeah yeah because no I, problem mm -hmm. yeah i know it's an experience for you as well isn't it do you know what yeah. there are a few questions in my head how do you start your own business where do you go how just few ideas uh, basically you just have to check the market um, and plan burrito was ne burrito was never my intention I never p tried a burrito in my life yeah kids bright house like was my passion that I wanted to do is my dream uh, which obviously it wouldn't have happened without my mom I love my mom to pieces and my dad um, and we were gonna do this with my dad but unfortunately he had cancer and he died but I think um, with his blessings and all that you know we got to do it and then um, it's, it's just taking that big step doing marketing research um, and obviously getting the right building and the right market and then just pouring basically you have the financial side of things are quite huge yeah, yeah you need to know what you want basically and once I ran the kids bright house for almost a year and a half I needed to do something different because yeah. I was fed up of chicken nugget and chips <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you, you know? yeah and then I wanted to actually start a noodle bar so I looked into a lot of noodle franchises <laughs> um, and uh, I was obsessed and then um, 
Plan Burrito came up and it's a fairly new franchise and I was a bit nervous, I was like, oh I've never tried it, I have a fear of food, trying new foods, because of my culture, our food is amazing, it's tasty. I went there and I met Steve and it was smart and Steve is a franchisor, he is so nice, he's also very family orientated and I feel like um, you have to like the person you work with and then I tried uh, the burrito and I was like oh my god this is amazing, I was like that's my baby, so that was the first time I tried the burrito and just I think um, the support he gives us he's so good like I'm not an easy person to deal with I I, I drive you insane I was just about <laughs> I to say I call him at 10 o'clock at night I'm like Steve <laughs> that, that was my next actually question how do you motivate your staff because I know you are a very hard working person when you've got your own business you spend 24 hours a day yeah uh, you know no. of time and effort etc so how do you motivate your um, people who work for you do exactly the same, if not more. How do you keep them happy? I, How do you I just be kind. I want. I'll be. I'll. I will treat them the way I want to be treated. I'm just really kind. I'm. Um. I'm. I'm very. I'm not. I'm not pushy, but I like push them to the best. I'll never be rude to them. Um. And yeah, if I always see them ask lots of questions, like it's just not. I'm not that sort of boss, so I'll always encourage them, we do trial sessions, I will be with them all the time watching them and I say to them, look, you should, don't take this as a negative that your boss yeah. is watching you, take it as a positive, I care, I want you to be the best. Mm. Um, and it's just fun, 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 we have a laugh all the time, but when it comes to work, we are very serious, but I do think kindness plays a big role. Um, and uh, giving your staff a lot of confidence, not making anyone feel silly or stupid, things like that. So, um, yeah, just because of my own experience, I don't want anyone to feel like that. That's right. So how many people work for you? Oh, I've got quite a few now. So I've got, I'm going to take out their names just because I remember. We've got, what, Nasser, yeah, we've, got Eve, okay. we've got Nasser, we've got Eve, we've got Nasser, we've got Eve, we've so he's super nice basically. And we've got Fkai Flai, we've got uh, Eve, <laughs> <laughs> we've right. got We've got Boomy, we call her Boom Boom Boomy because she's super fast. And we've got Jade and he's lovely. And we've got a new guy starting soon called Sheena. And uh, maybe another lady uh, starting called Joyce. And I need to tell you her story. That should be another topic. And uh, she's only voluntary working because her son is the same age as my son, maybe a year older. Yeah. But he died last year. And she's going through grievance. And, uh, and now she only wants to work here to get herself back on track. Yeah. And I said, I have to pay her. And she's like, I will not take any money. And I feel bad. Oh, I like I'm using her. I said, okay, then you must take food from here yeah. or something. So she just comes in and, you know, this is the, I want it to be a business and a community a hub as well. Family business is fantastic. Do you know what? Yeah. Um, what did you do during uh, COVID? Because I, the question what I'm asking, because when I was working still at the pharmacy, I remember that community feel where people would bring us food, say from pizza places, uh, from their flower shops, they brought us lots of flowers. Um, people volunteered to drive for <coughs> us, etc. And it was like incredible time. And this is what you are creating at your own business. You should be so proud of yourself, seriously. Thank you, thank you. Um... Yeah, I don't feel like that when people say that to me, I get embarrassed. No, Because, <laughs> like, people go, the shop is beautiful, I come in and look, oh, is it? Because you don't see what other people are seeing, no. so it, it's nice to hear that. I'm not very good with praise either, so I get embarrassed. You embrace it. So, during, thank you, thank you. During COVID, basically, COVID kind of did me a favor. Like, uh, I was, at the time, at the pharmacy, I was doing night shifts in a care home as well. Wow. Um, so I was doing night shifts and pharmacy, but my father's cancer got worse. He had prostate cancer. So um, during COVID, you had the option to stay at home to look after vulnerable people. Mm -hmm. And uh, the time came when my dad got, um, basically, he was bedridden then, basically. Uh, so I got the opportunity to spend time with him, look after him and care for him. So. Uh, in the beginning, obviously, of COVID, I did work quite a bit in this pharmacy, but um, there was a time where I just couldn't anymore. I needed to be home, but whenever need they needed me, I did come down. So, yeah, yeah, it was um, it was a sad time, but, like, uh, it was also a blessing that I could care for my dad, myself, and my mum. Yeah.
My mom's like a huge part of my life. I don't know what to do with her. Sometimes she's like my evil mother-in-law. <laughs> But most of the time it's good. You know what moms are like. <laughs> My kids love her like they absolutely love her I love her so yeah it's family isn't it to your mom yeah yeah come forward yeah so yeah. Well, yeah, yeah 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 my mom's like my biggest support I like I I just like you know I love her so much You must be so proud of you do you know what before yeah. we go I just wanted to ask you uh how do you advertise your business so how can we find you So it's on uh Google it's uh-huh. called Plan Burrito I can send you the link if everybody uh-huh. would like to have a look Please? and yeah. uh yeah so basically oh let me tell you if anyone works for the NHS or students you get 10% you only have to show your blue light card or any sort of card that you work for the NHS uh students get 10% we are on Just Eat Deliveroo Uber Eats and we have our own app which is called My App 4 It is so much cheaper than the other apps, a lot cheaper. So if people do go for Plan Burrito, I would strongly advise everyone to download our own app. So again, it's called Plan Burrito. I will send you the link if you'd like to share it. Oh, uh, where? And that? yeah. Go, go. Yeah, and I I just I I encourage customers to come in the shop and eat and try the atmosphere. There's nothing like fresh food, you know. It's still fresh when it gets to you, but coming off that hot plate, it's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you some if you like give you a little quick demo of the food. Yes, please. The food. So these are our lovely drinks. People are loving these. So we've got all like we've got strawberry, got mango, we got guava, all the exotic fruits. It's lovely. Nice. Uh, yeah. And the play area is lovely and busy as you can see people in there. See which is very enjoying. Yeah, so this is basically our hot press which we would heat our wraps on. So there. And then we have our Yeah, we have our lovely yellow oh. lime and coriander rice. Mm-hmm. Then we have yellow Mexican. Yeah. Uh then we have our turtle beans in there and we have vegan options. That's our I'm refried sm- beans. I'm trying to to inhale the smell. <laughs> uh yeah, and then we've got uh, our, our we've got our obviously um vegan chili. This oh. is beautiful. That's our beef brisket. It's pulled beef. It oh, is amazing. Fun. That's pulled beef. Mhm. And uh, that's our chicken tinga. Lovely. That's caramel smash. People love the caramel smash. If we have a customer darling. So then obviously you have your cheese and your salsas and the amazing guacamole, southwest sauce, sour cream. Um if uh then we have um Yeah, it's not spicy. People think it's spicy, but it's not. You can have it as mild as you like or as spicy That's as you right. like. So don't don't be afraid of the spice. That's right. And you do do coffees as well there, don't we you? We do coffees, we do teas. Uh at the moment our coffee machine is broken, so we are still doing cappuccinos and lattes and tea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And have you got the um like a dessert things? I forgot their name. Yeah, so we have churros. Uh-huh. Um Yeah, we have churros. People love that. So, it's really nice we cook them and then we put cinnamon powder on top mm-hmm. and you can have it with chocolate or caramel sauce. Oh, brilliant. Do you know what? Yeah. I highly recommend to everybody because I have tasted it. I know you, the service you provide is brilliant. Thank Shireen, you. It's an absolutely pleasure chatting the way to, to you. Thank you. I'm going to Thank let you, you. sound really busy. Thank you. Yeah. I wish you all the best and success in the future and I'll definitely recommend everybody to come Thank and I'll be at restaurant and I'll record. So sure. Office. Come as a group guys, it'll be fun. Oh my god, like if anyone's a good eater do the burrito challenge. Ta- I, Tatiana, I'm going to send you the link for pan yes. burrito and I'll send you a separate link for the burrito challenge. So here it is. Check that baby out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Two guys did it and it was live on TikTok so you guys must uh, have oh, a look wow. and right take care of yourselves I've got to go now yes. I will send you the links very shortly Brilliant. thank you so much bye 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 bye